DJ Surplus, the number one DJ in the motherfucking solar system. Yo, we shouting out DME TV. Fuck with it. Way too much flex, not enough hustle, things are working out, I got it off the muscle, just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle, but now they looking cause they never... DJ Surplus, what's going on my boy? Shit, chilling man, what's good with you? Shit down, welcome to down, DME TV, interview, season two. Man, I really appreciate y'all having me out, man. Appreciate you coming, my boy. What's your inspiration and the biggest things... To help you become more driven as a DJ in Columbia, South Carolina today. Man, just seeing these artists, man, that's putting forth this effort, you know, in these studios, working with everybody, you know, the Dennis Glover, you know what I'm saying, uh, Sam B. Mixon, you know, all these people, man, getting together with these guys, man. Uh, shoot, Young Day even turning up, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Young day, uh, so I just want to see everybody come together, you know, and, and unite on the music front so we can bring in other people, you know what I'm saying, to see this talent and then start spreading that wealth around, you know what I'm saying? So so, so basically what you're saying is you want a headquarters for, for South Carolina to come through and, and as a platform, like, like okay, this is home base. This, right. this is where we're giving artists and, and local entertainers, DJs, producers, promoters, this is home base. This is where we're giving people locally opportunities and making a major level. Absolutely, man. Okay. You know, giving you everybody too. local, you know, all the local talent, man, get together, you know, have one office where, you know, people come in, you know, from New York, California, you know, trying to figure out who's going to take us to the next level. Okay. You know? Yeah. Okay. I respect that. I respect that. Man, I, man, I see your grind and I see your hustle and, 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 and I just want to salute you for for the love you show. You know what I'm saying? And well, man, the love is real, man, because, <laughs> you know, like I was telling you earlier, man, it's over 50 artists that I personally can put my hands on that I deal with. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, my number one guy, you know who that is. Mm -hmm. That's Neasy Man. Okay. That's number one. You know what I'm saying? Then you got Bounce Man, you know what I'm saying? King Weezy, mm -hmm. you know? New Moaning, you know? Uh, Miss Too Pretty, you know? All these people, man. Uh, shoot, Bossaholic. If y'all ain't heard him, you don't understand what's going on. Okay. You know? There's some real, real stuff out there, man. And, uh, you know, I mean, Young Bubba Detox, you know, I know you're doing the interview and everything, man. I appreciate you fucking with me. Yes, sir. But appreciate I fuck you with your here. music, man. You know, I ain't know you from nobody, you know, and, and download your shit into my shit. That's real you shit. You feel me? And that's facts, you know? too. And that's you real know? shit. I Damn fuck with real nigga man. shit, man. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. Down. All right, man. Down, like, so when did you start DJing? Man, I DJed, man, when I was, what, started out about 10, 11, 12 years old, you know, with... With all the eight tracks and all that kind of <laughs> See, stuff, all man, shit. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, shit, I got pictures of that stuff, man. But uh, DJ parties and all that kind of stuff didn't come to a lot, a lot, you know, a lot later, man. You know, you had to put your work in, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I started over there in Anderson, South Carolina, man. Okay. You know, with a laptop. You know what I'm saying? Walked in there with a laptop, turned mm -hmm. it up. You know what I'm saying? Southside Bar. Shout out my boy Sport. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, you know, Bone Sinatra. You know. Uh, rest in peace, my man, Jug Money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This shit real in these streets, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, damn. Uh, so, so, so where you from? Shit, man. I was born in Indiana, man. Lafayette, Indiana, bro. You know, born, uh, raised in a place called Paducah, Kentucky, man. Paducah. You know, big city, man. You big know, city. Chicago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right there. St. Louis, right there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nashville. You know, Memphis, you know, yeah. So, who is your favorite, who is your favorite artist coming up as a youngster? So you have to, I have to go to, uh, coming up, Just Ice, you know, um, LL Cool J, you know, because Lady Love Cool James, Lady Love DJ Surplus, you know, it's just real. Um... Eric B, Rock Kim, you know. What made you? What, 
Why did you want a DJ though? Like you had to see somebody on the turntables and he was like, yo, I gotta do this. Cause cause that's how I was like as a rapper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I heard Jay-Z. Yeah. I see this nigga in the, in the visual. I'm yeah. like, damn, like I can do that shit too. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, my inspiration, man, DJ in 1985, uh Jam Master J, man. You know, I, I rest in peace, Jam yeah, Master J, because, you know, he's a legend, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he came to our city, man, Paducah, Kentucky in 85, you know. And, uh, you know, everybody didn't even know who the fuck they were, you know, because we were looking for Shannon to come in. Mm -hmm. Let the music play. Everybody was ready to hear that shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Shannon didn't show up. So, you know, Jam Master J and Run DMC was on the stage. Everybody was like, fuck this shit. Who the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? That was real shit. And then when Jam Master J got on the motherfucking wheels, he said, Jam, 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 Jam. <laughs> and after he did that, it was over. That was, that was it. That was it. Right the crowd there. Went wild. The crowd went crazy. Yeah. 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 That's crazy, right? Huh? Yeah. Just that little bit, man. That, 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 that inspiration right there just took you hey. to all the way to now. That's why Surplus don't play old music. Surplus play new music. Surplus play trap music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and you fucking with the local artists, and and, and 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 that's a good look. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But because because your sound right there alone, that that'll take you places that some people have blocked off from. Because you know it, it's originality. That's how I feel about artistry too. Right. As being a, a artist and entertainer, as the same as a DJ. Right. Just like a producer. You know what I'm saying? Well, when you see people putting in hard work. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if that shit is booty, whack, whatever you want to call it. If a motherfucker can remember their song and and do it as flawless as they possibly can, I fucks with you. That's real. So then, so when you do a show, how you prepare for the night? What, what's in your mind? Like, sure, I, as soon as I get there, you know what I'm saying? I see who's coming. You know who's in there. You know? it's like, it's like, is, is it about the venue? Like, right, I'm gonna play some nah. hood ass shit or something there. Or, 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 or damn, you had a bigger, more diverse venue. You're like, okay, I gotta switch it up. Or you just, yeah. it's always the same thing. Like, you come out every night, like. Every night is a different show. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You never hear the same music out of DJ Surplus unless it's that, you know, that popcorn shit that everybody like to hear. You know what I'm saying? But, 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 know, I'm, Cardi but I'm saying. B. But, 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 but do, do you mix that with with, with it? Yeah. Okay, so you still play the mainstream. Right, okay. right. You know, when I put the mainstream in, you know, it's going to be the hottest shit, the newest shit, the Luchis, the Gucci's, the Gotti's, the Lil Babies, the Kodak Blacks. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. I and then I'm throwing the Young Bubba Detox. Okay. Then I'm throwing the Neasy Main. Okay. Then I'm throwing the Boss of Holly. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm throwing motherfucking Friday. You know what I'm saying? Friday next, you know? Mm -hmm. All them are, hey, it's a lot of work out there, yeah. man. You, you know, that's that. my dope. These artists is my dope. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to sell them. You know, so they can get money. So they can take care of their families. They tired of kicking in those. They tired of robbing motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sick of that shit. For real. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, man. Where you see yourself in five years? Shoot, man. You know, Lord's will, man. You know, be able to relax a little bit, man. You know what I'm saying? Sit back. You know, see about 15, 20 to 50 artists. You know, making it good. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and, and have people say, man, that dude inspired me to be the greatest. I became something, you know what I'm saying? Because that little DJ right there. You know, I, I'm not worried about the money. I ain't worried. All I'm worried about is you being successful. I ain't worried about me. You gonna get your blessing in return. Hey, you know, after, yeah. you gotta give to get. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Real talk, bro. What you got going on now? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, are you DJing anywhere? Like, yeah, I've been DJing in the city, man. You know, the cave, uh, shit, uh, Daryl's place, you know, Mirrors 2, you know, uh, but shit, the home base pretty much, you know, Mirrors 2, Daryl's place, you know, um, you know, and, uh, on Wednesday nights, we'll be having like the best, uh, social media Wednesdays. Especially this week, it's going to be Valentine's Day, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We're doing something super crazy for the women. Okay. You know, it's going to be stupid. You know, we got the featured artist, King Weezy, you know, New Moni, Miss Too Pretty, you know, um, uh, The Vulture. Y'all need to fuck with The Vulture. Ah, you know that nigga? Yeah. North Maine, man. Man, 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Name all your social media handles, Twitter, you know, damn, if you got a SoundCloud too with your DJ, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, check me out on number one, Facebook. You know what I'm saying? The number one social media DJ in the motherfucking solar system. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Not the planet, not the fucking little United States, but the solar system. You feel me? But uh, check me out, Billy Swanson. Right there, that's me. You know what I'm saying? The real motherfucking G. But, uh, and then you look at uh, in Instagram, you just hit DJ Surplus on that, you know, at DJ Surplus, you know. And, uh, you know, Snapchat, but I don't fuck with that shit. That's for the gay motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Watching other niggas do shit. Who the fuck wanna do that? Not me, nigga. But, uh, yeah. Hell uh, yeah. But if you gay, I don't fuck with you, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> My boy DJ Surplus, DME TV, interview. Appreciate you coming. Support Young Bubba Detox, DJ Surplus. 100, man. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. But I always stay trill, man. I'm gonna say the shit you don't wanna hear. You fucking with Surplus, it's just gonna be real. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I mean, I love everybody, but if you with that other shit, don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with you me. You know what I'm saying? For real. And, but but on a positive note, you know, Columbia, y'all getting ready to take the fuck off. Like I said, I was born in Indiana, raised in Kentucky. You know what I'm saying? Came to South Carolina, been here since 97, you know, and I feel like I got something to give, and that's real. You know, hey, take that shit. Never know what's in the duffel. Way too much flex, not enough hustle. Things are working out. I got it off the muscle. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle. But now they looking, cause they never know what's in the duffel.